There is in books a lot of talk about renunciation. But you must renounce possession, that you must renounce possessions, renounce attachments, renounce desires. But I have to come but I have come to the conclusion that so long as you have to renounce anything, you are not on this path. So beautiful. For so long as you are not thoroughly disgusted with things as they are and have to make an effort to reject them, you are not ready for the supramental realization. So what mother is saying is that in her path, you don't have to renounce things. You have to outgrow them. As your consciousness grows, the things that attracted you in the past, you see they are empty. I don't, I want something more. So, so long as you need them, don't run away from them, but interact with them consciously. You understand what it means to, inter to fulfill a desire consciously is to be free of it beautifully said that every desire is the residue of an incomplete experience if you go into something in a half-baked way like you really want to talk to this person but morality tells you oh he's a man don't talk i'm giving you an example don't talk to him etc then you'll talk to him in a very half-baked way and it's an incomplete experience so every desire is the residue of an incomplete experience. Instead, go into it consciously. I want to talk to this person. I'll go all out. I'll talk to it, but I'll be conscious. I'll see what I'm feeling. I'll be present to it. And if you do it completely, you may find that you didn't get anything much out of talking to that person. It was just another oasis. You thought there was water there, but there was no water there. It didn't really make you so happy, finally. So you'll reach a point where if you go into fulfilling desires consciously, you'll go, but it must be conscious because otherwise to keep fulfilling desires, to keep strengthening the samskar of that desire, you have to bring consciousness to it. See, if you can offer it to mother, and she takes it away good but you have to reach a point where you really want to offer it to her sometimes the desire has such a strong hold on you that deep down you're not convinced that you're better off without it so if you're not convinced you're better off without it then go into it consciously but go into it consciously that's the key word so suppose take this example you want to talk to there are many young people here you want to talk to this one boy who you have a crush on now you will take it to whatever your thing is extrapolate it to whatever your desire is you want to talk to this one boy but maybe you've heard negative things about him that he'll get you into trouble blah 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 and or you have moral things by which you feel you don't want to talk you shouldn't talk to that person but deep down you have a fantasy about this boy and you feel you won't be happy without him no matter what people tell you and no matter what you've heard then pray to the mother that yeah i'm since this desire is not leave first try offering it to her that mother if this person is good for me only then let me talk to him otherwise take away my desire to speak to him but if the desire still keeps persisting and you're not convinced that you're better off without talking to the boy then reach out and talk to him but go into it very consciously take mother with you that i'm going into it but you be with me through every bit of the conversation and then once you're with the mother go into it be present to what you're feeling don't get carried away if you're feeling a huge attachment be present to that attachment bring con see when you're very attached to a person often around that person you become unconscious you know what i mean what do i mean by you become unconscious around that person 
uh, in a more simple word uh, you mother of course but you lose consciousness of your surroundings also you just get into a funny hypnotized state where you're just being dragged by the hypnotism of the attachment into being less than what you really are you know what i'm saying you, you become yourself you lose yourself so make a resolve that i want to be conscious more than the flattery i get out of this person's glad eye or whatever else i want to be conscious that flattery has done me little good i've gone through this cycle many times i have always gone up and down with that glad eye or that attention so because what happens is then you stop being you invest into appearing you want to appear good in that person's eyes and that need to appear makes you very con- unconscious because you lose touch with being no wherever there's a need to appear you're completely out of touch with being if you know what i mean so you become unconscious so first see that pattern in you observe it and tell yourself this is a useless path to go down again and again i don't want to be like that next time i want to be with that person with complete consciousness so put that will and invite mother to help you fulfill that will and then interact with that person constantly reminding yourself more than the p- look, wanting to look good in this person's eyes i want to be conscious i don't want to lose my anchoring in being and then see where it leads